Imagine driving down the highway, cruising at a steady speed, when suddenly, your transmission decides to play hide and seek. The culprit, a tiny, often overlooked component that most drivers don't even know exists, your transmission speed sensor. It's small, but its failure can lead to big problems. Let's get straight to the heart of it. What exactly is a transmission speed sensor? This little hero measures how fast your transmission gears are spinning and sends that info to your car's computer. In short, it tells your car how fast you're really going, not what your speedometer says, but the real deal. So, how does a transmission speed sensor work its magic? This little guy measures how fast your car's transmission is spinning, sending vital info to your car's brain, the ECU. In simple terms, it's the real-time translator between your wheels and your transmission, telling your vehicle exactly how fast it should shift gears. Now, let's break it down. Inside the transmission, there's a spinning shaft. The sensor monitors its speed using a magnetic field. It picks up pulses from a toothed ring on the shaft, sending a steady stream of data. And boom, your car knows how to adjust gear shifts perfectly. It's like a backstage operator, pulling all the strings without you ever noticing. Why is this sensor so important? Without it, your car would have no idea when to shift gears. Your driving experience would go from smooth to chaotic in seconds. You'd be feeling jerks, delays, and, let's face it, pure frustration. Now, for the treasure hunters out there wondering where this precious little piece of tech lives, look no further than your transmission housing. The sensor is usually mounted on the side or rear of the transmission, near the output shaft. Not glamorous, but that's its home. But what happens when this sensor goes rogue? If your transmission speed sensor gives out, it's not going to be subtle about it. Expect rough shifting, the occasional stall, or even your car going into limp mode, aka survival mode for your transmission. Yep, it's like hitting a self-imposed speed limit until you fix the problem. Now, here's the big question everyone asks. Can you keep driving with a bad sensor? Technically, yes, but should you? Not unless you're a fan of your car throwing a tantrum. And hey, no one wants to risk burning out their transmission just because they ignored a little sensor, right? Let's rewind to what the speed sensor actually does. It's like your car's pace setter, keeping track of how fast each part of the transmission is spinning, ensuring that your gear changes are as smooth as butter. So, what happens when the sensor just gives up completely? You can expect a check engine light to pop on, transmission control to go haywire, and your gear shifts to feel like a first-time stick shift driver learning the ropes. It's not pretty. And that's the transmission speed sensor, tiny, but mighty, and definitely not a part you want to ignore. Our next video in this series will be on airbag sensors.